at the Airbus display area, ready to taxi VFR display flight. Airbus 3905, taxi to runway 3 via Charlie 11, Victor 1, Charlie. 3 via Charlie 11, Victor 1, Charlie. Airbus 3905. Welcome okay, back, flight ahead, fans. Left onto taxiway Charlie 11. Check what out. This is an Airbus 321. We are at the Paris Air Show. We are going to take off and do some stunt flying. Not really stunt flying. This and that. There's a nice A380 back there. There's some Ariane rockets. There's a really ugly... Damn, they got to fix up that Dreamliner. Because Dreamliners, Dreamliners are beautiful planes. But that looks pretty bad. The other thing I have to mention is... For some reason, whatever this mission is, the frame rates are quite low for me. So hopefully it's not like overly choppy when the recording is done. Uh, this is flying over the city of Paris. Uh, this is an empty Airbus, which is kind of interesting. I kind of tested this out before. The plane flies like a sports car. I think I was saying I like the Learjet because it's very sporty. Well, guess what? A giant... Uh, passenger liner can be quite sporty too when there's nothing in nothing in there. This thing just it it twerks. That's all I can say. It's got good moves. But uh, let's see if we can complete these missions. It's kind of like a low flyover, uh, things like that. Oh, cool! Seven thirty-seven coming in for a landing. Neat. That's a good. Ooh, Take the next ooh. left onto taxiway Victor One. That kind of looked like a hard landing there. Taxi checklist. Just dropped flaps. it in. Set to flaps one. Flap set to one. Trim set for takeoff. Oh yeah. I Taxi don't know what that really complete. means. Actually, I know what that means. But yes, it's set for takeoff. I'm not trimmed down or anything like that. All right, come on, let's move it. I'm gonna turn the landing lights on. Sorry if the intro to this video was a little shoddy, but it just kind of caught me off guard. And I haven't been able to do one of these flight videos in a while. Hey, check that out. That's uh. Antonov Muria. Muria is the world's largest plane. Oh, there's some Sukhoi S 27s, I think, those Russian fighter jets, but yeah, that's like a. Turn right the, up here onto taxiway Charlie. That's pretty Hold neat. Short of the, runway. the Muria or something. Yeah, it's a huge. I think it's the world's largest plane, pretty much. Largest flying object ever made? Or was that the Spruce Goose? I don't know. Or maybe a giant pterodactyl somewhere. But probably not flying over. No predators over Paris. Hold here. I'll Just get got our air buses. Clearance. All right, come on, Le get Bourget the clearance. Tower, Airbus 395, holding short three. Request left close traffic. One high speed, low approach. One low speed, low approach. Then a full stop. Airbus 395, yeah, with the light Runway three, cleared for takeoff. Left Thanks, close buddy. traffic approved. We're going. Airbus 395, cleared for takeoff. I'm not gonna All look right, left we're or right. For takeoff. Turn right onto the runway. Look down Turn on a the bit. landing lights and let's put on a show. Fly runway heading and start climbing to 2,000 feet. All right. So we're gonna go. One thing is you gotta constantly watch your altitude and your speed here because they have very strict restrictions on what you need to be doing. Constant changes to it. Oh, we got some damn frame rate drops, big time. All right, we're good. Let's gun it up. I think I'm on center line. We're gonna gun it, we're gonna take off and climb to 2000 runway heading, that's what he said. Runway heading is like 25, I think, 025, trying to get used to the knots. lingo, 80 knots. Now back off, see how fast this thing is going because it's unburdened. Come on, come on, rotate. V1. Give it to me, baby. Rotate, V2. There we go. All right, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. See, I'm knowing the lingo. I'm getting to the lingo. Oh, you wanted a 20 degree Positive climb? Rate, gear up. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to get up to. Whoa. This baby can go. Oh, my God. 25 degrees. Okay. Reduce thrust to maintain 200 knots and, and retract the flaps. Turn flaps left up. now to a heading of 210 onto the downwind leg. Use 30 degrees of bank. Okay, so yeah, they want a super tight turn. Flaps are up. 30 degrees of bank. That's 30 degrees right there. I'm above 2,000. Need to drop. See, this is why this is tough. Oh my god, I'm already at 2,300 feet. He's gonna get mad at me. I am going too fast. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's hard to do this. I can't imagine doing this without the Logitech at this point, because this Logitech, without that throttle control, you can't do this. And this thing is, uh, wow, look at this bank. Probably over 30 degrees right now. I After takeoff checklist. Landing oh, gear. missed the uh, heading. Wasn't watching that either. Flaps set to zero. I'm at. After takeoff checklist 200. complete. Okay. All right. So, how are we looking? We're off on our heading. Let me correct the Off-line heading. Two passes to runway three. A high speed pass with a high performance climb out, then a low speed pass with the gear and flaps extended. Check For the high out. speed pass, right. we want to fly over the runway at 500 feet MSL at 330 knots. We'll overfly the runway, then pitch up 20 degrees for a high-performance climbing turn back onto downwind. There is the beautiful city of Paris below us, and we're approaching it. Okay, that's good. All right, we're already losing altitude. We'll continue our downwind leg until we're over the river, almost to the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? Where? Somewhere down there, okay. I'm losing speed, but I want to keep my 2,000 feet because you kind of have to start this turn. And you saw my, you saw my uh, last bank. That was not very good. I lose altitude. This thing's a little twitchy right now. Quite twitchy. But okay, I'm losing speed again, but I'm at 2,000. All I'm doing is staring at that damn horizon level. I'm not even. I'm missing out on this beautiful scenery over here. Look at this, gorgeous. There's the main part of the city. Okay, sorry, let's center the view. Whoa. We gotta watch this. Okay, altitude's a little bit much. Let's kill the throttle a bit. We're approaching the River Seine. Is that how you say it? Seine? The Seine River? Seine River, yeah. The river that runs through Paris. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. Cool. I think we got time to do a Turn quick left now eagle to eye. Of zero, three, zero. Use 30 degrees of bank. Oh, Maintain 2,000 feet All and right. 200 knots. Okay. 2,000 feet, 200 knots, zero three zero. On a heading of zero three zero. Runway Got three it, is sir. the one to the left of all the buildings. Once you have the runway in sight, dive toward it and Climbing. increase your airspeed to 330 knots. 330 knots, okay. He's at 030, 030, 30 degree bank. I'm losing altitude, 500. Don't 330 feet. knots and okay, level up to 500 feet MSL. Okay, we'll do. Wow, look at the city. I hope they're not too frightened by my uh, antics right here on top of them. All right, I gotta get ready for the rollout. I'm gonna start rolling out soon. Where the hell is the airport? Oh, there it is, there's the runway. Okay, good, I'm gonna roll out of this thing. Pretty much right on the money almost, all right. So you want it 330 knots at 500 feet. This is gonna be interesting. Let's straighten up. What are we at? 280, 260. The speed is climbing fast. I'm losing my, uh, my heading here. Where this is twitchy. Alright. It doesn't go left and right too easily, but it does. Fly down the length of the runway, okay. level at 500 feet, and Think adjust right. thrust to maintain 330 Pull knots. Up. Oh, 330, okay. I'm Pull up. Sink rate. Okay, 700. Wow. All right. Straighten up. Oh, I gotta get lower. I'm at 330 or 310. Sink rate. I'm good, I'm Sink good, rate. I'm good. Come on. I'm good, Come right? 500, right. yep, yeah, 500. All right, perfect. Let's gun it. 320, hey, I hope you guys got a show there. <laughs> oh, let's hold it back. Boom. All right, I think that was good, right? Yeah, happy? Okay. Now reduce thrust right. to idle and pitch up to 20 idle. degrees. Wow. Make a climbing left turn back to a heading of 210. Level off at 2,000 feet and adjust thrust as necessary to maintain 200 knots. All right, we're doing it. 2,000. Wow, we're about to hit 2,000 like nothing. Whoa. Okay. Wow. I did not think at idle thrust this thing would have had enough momentum to do that, but it did. Speed is good. I'm at 200. Uh, what did you say? 21? 210 is the heading. Okay. I'm at 2,500 feet. We have a beautiful view of Paris, Parisian, Parisian, Parisian. I'm just embarrassing myself now. Uh, suburbs. We're at 220. I cannot hold my bank. God damn it. This is tough. 
don't want to miss my heading. I need to lose some altitude too. And we're losing it fast. This must look pathetic to these people. All right. Okay, we're at 2,000. We're going too fast. I'm going to idle. Okay. We're losing speed. Coming up on our heading, we we'll start rolling up. 180 knots and set flaps one. 180 knots. Okay, how do I do that? Right, thrust is reducing. Set flaps to one. Thrust is idle. That's why we're gonna get the alarm. I don't know how to. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit to stop that alarm, because idle thrust and flaps, you get alarms. I think on the Airbus you do. I don't know about the yeah, but I'm not losing speed. Gear down, set flaps two. Adjust okay. thrust to maintain 160 knots. Flaps two. Geared coming down. 160 knots. So I'm gonna lose speed. I need to get like this. I'm gonna gain some altitude to bleed some speed. Um, I tried using spoilers on this thing before. The speed brakes. It does weird stuff. It doesn't like it, and then it goes into some crazy auto throttle mode. And that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna kill the throttle now. See if I can come back down to 2,000 without getting too much velocity. It's hard to bleed that speed. It's a little scary to bleed it. Okay. We are approaching. Oh, now we have a clear view of the Eiffel Tower. All right, we are at 2,000 about. I'm at 160. So I'm exactly where I need to be. Co-pilot, I hope you're happy. Oh, give it a little bit of juice losing our velocity a bit. Kind of a weird way to fly, I feel, with my flaps and gear hanging out like that. I gotta say, from the outside, I think I'm losing a lot of speed. I think the... Three, nine, five, looking good. What is Runway it? 3, cleared low speed, low approach. Cleared low approach, Airbus 395. Okay. Turn left now to zero, 030. Zero. Use 30 degrees of bank. 30 degrees of bank, here we go, and that's 30. Set flaps 3 and reduce speed to 140 knots. Oh, I was, okay, let's reduce speed. Oh wow, I was losing altitude like crazy, I didn't even notice. I'm so Start busy on getting my bank. Foot per minute descent. For this pass, <laughs> we'll level no, up we're very gentle. Feet MSL. Okay, 30 degree bank, we're approaching. 700 MSL, he said. Okay, I think I see the. Is that the airfield there? What is the airfield? Did I completely miss it? Why am I blind to this thing? Oh wow, I am so off. Are you kidding me? How am I so bad at this? God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna kill the thrust. I need to get to 140. There, I'm so far off that runway. That is just insane. You guys see it is off to the left. Okay, so we're coming down to 170. I believe this is it here, right? To my left? Yeah. Okay, somehow I was completely off, but alright. 140 is good. I'll give it a little bit more gas. Actually, I'll come to idle because I need to get to 700 he wants, right? I still have time. Oh, hush. Okay, I like my speed. I have flaps where you wanted it. It's almost like coming in for a nice Level gentle landing. 700 feet MSL and fly toward the runway. Okay. We are at 700. Oh, man. Come on. Let's get to 700. Fly down yeah, the length of the runway. Level at 700 feet MSL. And adjust thrust to maintain 140 knots. Okay. Can't seem to get back up to 700 even though I'm pitched up at 10 degrees. Okay, I need to give it more speed. Alright, we're just gonna do it this way. Idle thrust, idle thrust. Okay, plane is really feeling heavy right now, but we are gonna keep it right here. I think we have a strange pitch to the nose. Yep. Enjoy it, guys. I don't know what this is can't trim it down. I don't know what's happening. And I'm losing speed and altitude. Don't sink. Oh crap. Don't sink. You see this thing? This A floor? Now they're gonna gun it for me. 
It's like some auto throttle bullshit. Increase speed to one four zero knots. Okay, good. Good, good. I was able to stop it. Last time I couldn't stop it. It just kept gunning it. Oh, we're doing it. Slow, gentle flight over the airfield. You like it, buddy? We did it. We did it, I think. I'm at 140. I'm about 500. They get a good view. Set takeoff thrust and pitch up to 10 degrees. Raise the okay. gear and set flaps one. Make a climbing left Here. turn oh. back to a heading of 210. Level off at 2,000 feet and adjust thrust as necessary to maintain 180 knots. 180 knots, okay. Going back to 210. Take off thrust, 10 degrees, back up to 2,000 feet, I'm at 1,300, 180 is coming up, this is not a tight bank, the plane is climbing well, alright, I'm going to slow my climb a little bit, whoa, is this a little disorienting to anybody? <laughs> All right, it's kind of fun to fly this mission. It's just there's a lot of concentration on this one. I can't relay that to you, I think. Maybe in my commentary you can feel it, how much I'm trying to concentrate. Because sometimes I feel I'm just not getting better at this game too much, but still having a lot of fun with it. Oh, uh, we're at 2,000. We have not rolled out. I've rolled out at the wrong place. I'm killing throttle. Come on, don't do that. And I missed my heading again. How am I supposed to land this thing? Alright, I think we're at a happy place right now. Let's find our heading. Let's find our heading. And we're at 180. Is that what you wanted? We're at 2000. Okay, we're at our happy place. Stay here, buddy. Gear is up. Flap is to 1. Flaps are 1, okay. right? That's what he wanted. Gear down. Set flaps 2. Adjust thrust to maintain 160 flaps. knots. Flaps 2. Gear down. I think it'll find 160 on its own with all this extra drag all of a sudden. Gear is locked. I believe we're going to come in for an actual landing now. I'm at 1900 feet of some kind at 165 knots. I have let go of the joystick for once. It is perfect. Wow. How do you look? Looking good. Looking good. Non liveried. Airbus. Can't zoom out this view for some reason. Okay, enough of that. Altitude speed still good. Heading a little off. Let's see if we can actually line up with the runway properly this time. I think he's gonna make us do a hard left bank, keep the same speed. Probably get down to 140 maybe and then uh, bring this sucker in for a nice gentle landing. I'm gonna do better than that Boeing guy who freaking dropped dropped it like it's hot, as they say. He was smoking Airbus his tires. Here we go. Three, cleared to land. Clear to land. Perfect. Airbus yep. three, nine, or five. Turn left now to zero three zero. Use thirty degrees of bank. Set flaps three and reduce speed to one hundred and forty knots. Okay. Now start a five hundred foot per minute descent. This time we'll descend all the way to the runway and land. Line up with the runway and maintain one four zero knots. Let's run through the before landing checklist. Landing gear, down. Yes, down. Flaps, set to flaps three. Flaps are three. Landing okay. checklist complete. We are at 140, I'm losing some speed. I did a tight bank. Please tell me I lined up properly this time. Did I? Oh god. Okay, a little off. A little off, but I think I'm f barely floating in the air here at 140 knots. I can correct myself onto this runway heading. Yeah, it's very gentle. Frame rates are dying. My 7950 is chugging hard. Okay, that didn't sound good. I shouldn't have said chugging hard. The 7950 does not chug hard. Okay. Okay, we'll get this thing lined up. We need to... Keep our speed down. We're gonna do a gentle descent. Okay. I'm gonna go full flaps. I need a little more drag, I think, because I'm coming in at 140. I've 
complete idle throttle, but I'm not losing speed. I think I'm lined up okay. Might end up making the same mistake my uh, Boeing colleague did. Dropping it in hot, okay. Give it a little throttle. Let's keep it at 140. Nose up a little bit. Nose up, nose up, nose up. These VFR landings, you know, kind of interesting. You just have to guess like your your sink rate, right? You don't have a glide slope, and all that stuff. Interestingly, this airport, those glide slope lights don't exist. All right, let's bleed some speed. Let's bring it down. We're a little kind of off. Whoa. All right, all right, we're lined up. Alright, alright, alright. I feel like we're going fast, but we're okay. Alright. Alright, I think we got this. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Flare, we're down. We are down. Good job. Reverse thrust. Brakes hard. Very good, very good. I think I missed my turn off. That's alright. Wow. Wow. Whoa. 3905, turn right next taxiway, contact ground point niner. Going to ground, 3905. Okay. Ground, Airbus 3905. Off wow. Airbus 3905. I went really far. Company display area. 3905. <laughs> okay, right. taxi back to our parking spot by the A380. Okay. Wow. That was. I was happy with the landing, but thing didn't want to stop. I had reverse thrust. I had everything going on. I don't know what was happening there. Alright. It's going to be a long taxi. Join me on this nice, gentle taxiway ride. So that was kind of fun. I wish I could have done a few more external views for you guys, but one issue was obviously the frame rate's dropping. The other thing is impossible to fly and know where you're going uh, if you're not inside the plane, I think, sometimes. And, uh, yeah, but... This was kind of a fun mission. I've never been able to fly one of these things with such at agility. This thing was awesome. It was just hopping around, at one little blip of the throttle, and it's going where you want it to go. Pretty amazing what an empty airliner can do, no matter how big. This one's loaded with a million passengers and, you know, all that baggage and all that other crap that they have trouble. And you gotta fly gently too, you know, you don't want to be 30 degree banking on uh, actual customers. But here we go, now this is interesting, I'm about to just waltz onto this runway here. I'll do a little left and right look. But I think somewhere you're supposed to talk to the tower and be like, hey, you know, can I go? Is it safe? But I don't know how to do that and my co-pilot, as you notice, he talks a lot, but right then when he really needed to, the most important thing he could have done, he didn't. And uh, I'm sure the tower wasn't happy with that, but uh, are we going the right way? I think this is the main one. We're supposed to be on taxiway Charlie 11 or something like that. I think that's what this is. That's another thing I need to memorize are all the little, uh, uh, the, the what, what do they call them? The military alphanumeric codes? Like Foxtrot, Charlie, Alpha, what is it? Romeo, all that stuff. Zebra. I know some of them randomly. Like this plane's designation would be 39 or 5, right? Foxtrot X ray 39 or 5. Something like that. Oh, look at this building here. Oh, they got a gas station. Very cool. Look at this cute little thing. You got like buntings on it and stuff. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm coming down straight onto that A380 and that weird, like, disabled and deformed. 787 Dreamliner, which I think is a really beautiful plane. I've been watching some videos of it on YouTube. It's gorgeous. It's, you know, the A380 is a marvel in itself of engineering, but so I think is that Dreamliner. It's uh, definitely a pretty plane. It does a lot of fancy stuff, at least in the airshow videos that I watch it in. Man, look at how many uh, the landing gear on that A380. It's a lot of pairs of wheels. All right, we are here. Do I, where do I park it? Next to this thing, this big. All guy? right, let's go ahead and shut her down. 
Lights oh, off, yeah. fuel pumps off, engine master switches off, and brakes set. Nice flight. Now oh, time to you, sign sir. a few autographs and have lunch. Oh, oh, autograph signing. Oh, we're heroes. Perfect. I can do that. Here we go. Brakes are set. You can hear noises. Engines are shutting down. Let's get rid of this. We'll do a quick view on the outside of this bad boy. Check it out. Engines are winding down. Zero livery. Foxtrot X-Ray 395. There you go. At the Paris Air Show. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Till the next time. Happy flying.